Hey there, it's Elena Bear. So some quick background before we get started. I have always been very anti-e-readers. Like the day that e-readers came out, I was like, this is the worst invention ever. The world is crumbling to pieces. We're all gonna burn. This is horrible. So yeah, in a nutshell, I was one of those people who thought that e-readers were the worst. Okay, so fast forward. I have not been reading as much as I would like to lately, like in the past two years. I haven't been reading nearly as much as I'd like to, but I definitely want to get back into reading. And what started that was I read The Host by Stephanie Meyer, and we went on a trip, and one of the only um, audiobooks we could get, like really quick, was The Host. So we're listening to that in the car. And it was so intriguing. I like once we got to our destination, we stopped listening to the book. And so then I like actually read the physical book. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Like the writing is so much better than Twilight. Like everything about it is amazing. I really enjoyed it. So after I did that, I was like, man, I need to read more often. <laughs> like this is just too much fun. So I went on YouTube discovered this whole booktube thing, super awesome, and what I did was as I would watch other people's videos, when they would like rave about certain books, like when multiple people would rave about a certain book, I'd write down the name of it, and so I compiled this list of books that I wanted to read. Then when like Christmas time was coming up, my dad asked, you know, what do you want for Christmas? I could not think of anything, so I was like, well, I do have this list of books that I would like to get at some point, so maybe you could get me a few of those. Alright, so I go up to Pennsylvania for Chrismaka, which is like my dad and my stepmom are Jewish, and then like me and my mom are Christian, so when I go up to Pennsylvania to see my parents, I do like this combined like Chrismaka thing. So anyway, Chrismaka, I'm at my dad's house. So I unwrap this present from my dad. And when I unwrap this present, it looks like this. Now I had never seen a Kindle box before, but in that moment I knew. I just knew. <laughs> um, and I was absolutely speechless because I mean that's just a really nice gift, period. Like that's, you know, very generous and everything. So I was just absolutely speechless. And, and I noticed like when I unwrapped it, I was like, oh, like it's already open. Like it's not a sealed box. I'm like, oh, okay. Like maybe they charged it for me or something. So I open it up. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's like, uh, I think it's less than six ounces. It's super light. I mean, it's like crazy light. And it has the, the screen that's like the, you know, it's similar to paper. So um, if you're out in the sun or something, it doesn't have a glare and, and it's, you know, the, it's not the touch screen, it's not the backlit screen, it's like the paper kind of screen. Okay, so I'm like in shock, I opened this thing, like did not expect anything like this at all, like that's just so generous of them. So I turn it on and I scroll through pages and pages of books that they put on here for me. They preloaded this thing full of books. I mean, I just was like in tears. Like it was just the coolest thing. Like, I mean, it's one thing to get such an awesome present that's, you know, just like so unexpected. But the fact that they actually put all of the books that I requested on here, I was expecting like just a few, like honestly, like three or four books or something I would have been happy with. There, every single book I asked for is on here. Like, I'm just, I'm so overwhelmed still. Okay, so hypocrisy confession number one. I am actually growing very, very fond of this tiny little evil device. It's kind of amazing. And I feel like a part of myself is dying right now, but I love my Kindle. If you'd have told me like a couple years ago that I would ever say something like that, I would laugh in your face. But it is totally true. Like, this is amazing and awesome and wonderful and I absolutely love it. Okay, so that is like the first thing that I'm a major hypocrite on is 
actually liking my e-reader that I never thought I would have or like. The other thing that makes me a huge hypocrite is all those books that I asked for for Christmas that are now on here are like the really popular ones that everyone's saying are so amazing and everyone's reading and so what I don't like about the situation is that I don't like that all these books are like cool and popular. I mean it's like something like Twilight where it just became famous and everyone read it and they shouldn't have done that. Also like Fifty Shades of Grey, like that was like so popular. Everyone's reading that. You go out in public and you look around and everyone's reading Fifty Shades and it's like the hot new thing but that doesn't have anything to do with the quality of the writing and it's like I just I don't want to read something because I feel like it's the cool thing to do or like oh everyone else is reading it so I want to read it too. So anyway I'm a little bit annoyed at myself that I like asked for all of these like super trendy books but at the same time I think that these books that I asked for are actually going to be really good as opposed to some other books that are super popular and are not very good. So all that rambling being said, I'm just going to like read through all the books that are on here. I am currently reading The Book Thief and it is awesome. I'm like halfway through it, I'm just absolutely mesmerized by the, the writing, it's so beautiful. I find myself like rereading passages over and over just to like completely like remember all these like amazing words and just, I, I love, I love the narration of it. It's so beautiful. I have the Stephen King novel that's like the date, 11-22-63. So this is the Stephen King book. Um, my dad and my stepmom said it's like one of the most amazing things they've ever read. I have, the entire Ender's Game series by Orson Scott Card. I also have the entire um, Mortal Instrument series by Cassandra Clare, and everyone is talking about that too. I have the whole Divergent trilogy by Veronica Roth, and everyone and their mother is like raving about this series as well. I have the entire Maze Runner series by James Dashner as well as, I don't know if this is even like supposed to be really part of it, this is a prequel, this particular cover that I'm showing you. I'm just showing you like random covers, I'm not going to show you all the covers of all the books in a series because this would just take 10 hours. I have The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, a friend of mine insisted that I get this book. And finally, they put a book by their friend on here and it looks really funny. <laughs> it's like a play on words like the bucket list. It's called the fuck it list and it's like a list of things that he's not going to do before he dies and the way they were describing it just sounded really funny and like I know this person so that's kind of cool to like have their book on here. So yeah that's my little Kindle tour slash confessions. Um, I have an e-reader that I love and I'm going to be using it to read all sorts of really popular trendy books. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, people can change for sure. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hearing all about my new Kindle and all the books that are on it and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.